and today's topic is 50 cents preference of liking the exotic woman that looked like she just came off the boat rather than the angry black woman that's in the hood that anybody can get. So I'm excited about this topic because I'm black. You can see I'm black and I don't think I'm angry. So I am excited to bring you this topic today. I am going to share my opinions, my thoughts on the matter. I'm also going to bring a couple of callers on to share their thoughts and opinions. But please stay tuned to the end because there is a message in all of this fun that we're going to have on this call. So stay tuned to the end and I hope you enjoy it. So many black women that were so angry and so pissed at what he said. I wasn't angry. I wasn't pissed about him preferring exotic because everybody has a preference. It's fine to have a preference, even though I'm a little bit upset because honestly, for years I had a huge crush on 50 Cent. But, and that would hurt my little feelings like, oh, okay, well, you don't even like black women. So forget you, 50, it's all right. I feel like a lot of black men, when they ain't got nothing, they date black women. They hold black women down. But soon as they get some money, become ball players, football players, whatever. Now they just, they don't even want to deal with the black woman no more. And that's like, that's, you know, it's kind of sad. You can't judge all black women on certain experiences that you've had. Because I personally have had terrible experiences with black men, cheating and, and you know, not wanting to work. I'm not bitter, but I'm not going to judge all black men based on what I've been through personally. And my preference, my personal preference is a black man. But here's my reasoning. My personal preference is a black man because that's all I know. That's all I've dated. Like real, real relationships, that's all I've had was a black man. And then I like to wear wigs. So I feel like if I'm wearing wigs and I got my black girl hair, it, I don't want to have to explain to nobody what I got going on regarding my culture. So that's my preference. However, I'll date anybody. I don't discriminate against who I date. What my preference is, is what my preference is. I prefer just because we're relatable. But besides the relatable portion of it, um, I'll date anybody. I don't have a problem with it. I'll date out of my race. I don't have a problem with it. And that's why I don't have a problem with 50 Cent preferring exotic women. So I just wanted to bring you guys on because I wanted your personal opinion about what he said and what your thoughts are, what your opinions are, and what your preferences are and why. Hey, um, first up, let me start off by saying, of course, I'm a black man and my preference is black women, I don't agree with what 50 said. And let me explain my rationale behind my thought process. A lot of the celebrities, they have a, a, a historic, a historic uh, a situation where most of them, when they do get famous, they don't want the sisters that held them down when they were on their way up. Like, even if you, but if you look at, what I find odd is if you look at 50's baby mama, like, right. if you look at uh, 
Puffy, and all the black men, male celebrities, all their first baby mamas or wives or whatever are black. Which so they didn't. My point. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. So, so I feel like them um, moving over to these quote unquote exotic women. I feel like maybe they might not even realize that that's uh, something that they've been. Uh, that they've been like brainwashed to do by them being celebrities. Even if you look at Puffy, his his kid's mom, the first one, was black. When he was right. when he was the a first two dancer. baby mamas, the first two baby mamas were black. The, the third baby, baby mama, mama, she was exotic, as they call uh -huh. it, exotic. But the first two baby mamas were black. If you look at uh Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan was with. I can't remember his ex-wife name. That uh, situation. But, oh, boy. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, it goes on and on all the way back to I was watching a documentary about Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr. got with a white woman. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think that is something that is a problem, but I don't think it's a problem with the average black person. I think it's a problem with these people who got money. Right. Once they get money, then they feel like they too good. Yeah, I want to say something. Okay. So, as far as 50 Cent saying, you know, he want an exotic woman, it's like, it's all an image thing. Mm -hmm. Now that everybody thinks that, oh, yeah, exotic this, exotic that, oh, yeah, you got to have good hair and light skin, this, it's an image. So, now he wants to keep that image, and he just wants those type of women in his life. So, my opinion, my opinion on the, on the celebrities going over to exotic women is nothing against black women period but you know when they're when they're out on that red carpet and have that attitude so maybe they're like all right well i got this money i gotta hold my image this exotic woman mouth shut excuse my language sorry oh, my bad I, I knew it my bad <laughs> this is why i wanted you all here <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like they'll have that that thought process of the, you know this exotic woman. She's gonna she's gonna stand next to me. She's gonna look pretty and look good. Everybody's gonna be like, "Damn, you know who's that?" And not say nothing, just keep a smile. I feel the, these black men who are leaving the the black women to go into these exotic women don't want that image of what per people portray black women to be. But can uh, I say this though? Hold on. Because the black woman is also going to be that woman when somebody try and step to you and want to fight you. That's going to have your back. That's going to have your back. We, we own it. Maybe they switched to exotic because they knew the women that they were with were, kind of, were, were too good to be out on the red carpet. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying all black women. I'm saying you got your queens and then you got your hood. Yeah. So, yeah. So... When it when it boils down to it, Frederick, come on first. What is your preference? My preference is I'm a black man. I feel like a black woman can identify with the struggle I go through. That I'm a I'm a target of police brutality. If I get pulled over for driving down the street, driving while black, I don't want to come home and tell my exotic woman that the police is messing with me because of my car and she can't even identify for what I'm talking about. Like, right. I, uh, I'm straight. Right. 50 can have those. 50 can have an exotic status. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay with the sisters. And when I blow up, I'm going to still stay. I'm, I'm going to keep my same energy. 50 can could, 50 could have that. Because if 50 get broke tomorrow, them exotic women going to be them like, Them exotic uh, women going to be like, peace, bro. <laughs> So thank you, Frederick. Liam, before you come on, before you come back on, Liam, I want to say this. I want to say this because just like black men say that black women are the angry black woman, this is why there is police brutality because the world views black men as the angry black man. I think we do ourselves a disservice because in all these movies, it's always the rude black auntie. In all the Medea movies, in all the family dinner movies, in all the Christmas movies, the girlfriend always got to come meet the rude black auntie. Why right. is the rude black auntie a thing? Why, right. why isn't it the 
polite auntie because then so Tyler Perry is a black man, so he's a black man that's actually making movies about angry black women. You're right that that black men uh, have that uh, anger as well. I, I wouldn't want to say that my my actual preference is a white woman, but I have dated all white women. Um, uh, I I guess in my mind for myself would be because I know that uh the type of person that i am <laughs> there's not one black woman that i would know that would even what up with you? <laughs> <laughs> to begin thanks with for because, being honest <laughs> because uh me personally you know i'm i'm on the go i like to be by myself i don't need to answer to nobody i don't want to question nobody or I don't, I don't need nobody all up in my business if i don't want nobody in my business yeah i know what that means they just want you to shut up so they can cheat and be dogs. Not saying that, you know, there aren't white women that don't do the same shit that black women do, but I know. It's more common way, in black women. I, I, yes, I know my way of being that uh, I would bump heads too much with a black woman that she'd probably kill me. Right. So like, you know, I know myself. Uh, uh, no black woman would tolerate anything that I I do. That's and right. I agree. <laughs> I agree with you there. I agree with you there. Thank you, Liam, for your opinion. Um, Roy Lux, you got something to say? <laughs> you know, um, we're all not the same. Right. There's some black women who are just, you know, sweet as pie and just would take your and will, you know, go through whatever. And there are right. some women that won't do it and won't go through that so it just it really just depends on your mindset because right. color don't matter honestly mm -hmm. everybody is different it's yeah. just people when all black people when you grow up in a certain area you act a certain way yeah so that's right you know you see certain things and you view certain things that way sometimes it's hard to get out of it so if you never met a black if you've never dated a black woman who was good you're gonna think they are bad just like right. you never dated a black man who was good you're gonna be like okay you know what i'm done with black men let me give me a form okay? well i need to be let saying i'm done with black men then yeah <laughs> let me give me let me give me a curly hair man like you know oh man like, it's all about thought and what you think right color really don't matter right right but I want to close out. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming on. Um, okay, well, we only got two and a half minutes. I want to thank you guys for coming on and giving your opinion. I think when it all boils down, like, and I think what's kind of offended a lot of Black people, um, you saying angry Black woman as though Black men aren't categorized as being angry as well was kind of offensive. Like, we're both categorized as being angry, the black woman and the black man. So for an angry black man to say, oh, I don't, I won't only want to date exotic women because black women are angry, like, dude, you're black too. You're categorized as angry too. So in all in all, in a nutshell, he should have just left the angry black woman part out and just said, my preference is the exotic woman. I wouldn't have had a problem with it at all. I mean, I don't have a problem with it at all anyway. That's your opinion. However, it is something that social media blew up about, and I just wanted to have a conversation about it, and I wanted to bring you guys on, and I just wanted to say thank you. So thank you for joining me. It's okay to feel beautiful, even if you don't live up to the media's idea of what beauty is. You get to feel beautiful. Yes, you, me. We all get to feel beautiful, even if your skin isn't fair and your nose isn't button shaped and your hair isn't straight and smooth or silky and curly. We're not defined or beautiful in spite of our features, but because of our features. While the typical Bantu features aren't appreciated in society, that doesn't mean you should feel down on yourself or even think about getting surgery to change your features. Be proud of your plump lips and your shapely figures and your 
colored skin as there are many people of different races that are getting tans and spray painting themselves just to have our colors. They are getting surgery just to have our plump lips and our shapely figures. Let's be proud of who we are. We are diamonds to God. God created us in the image and likeness that he wanted us to be. His image and likeness. We are flawless. We are rare. We are genuine. We are not all angry as we have been described. Let's stay strong. Hello, if you are listening to me now, that means that you stayed on and you listened to the end and I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you really got something from this. I hope that I was positive. I hope that I inspired you in some way, shape or form. Hit the subscribe button if you desire to see some more and be inspired. Let's be inspired and let's inspire. That's what we're here for, be inspired and to inspire. So if you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. So today's video is going to be about 50 Cent and his comments about um, exotic women and the angry black woman. Today's podcast is going to be about 50 cents. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Did you get my text this morning?